Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this Logic Pro Quick Tip video, I'm going to show you how to auto-colorize track color bars, regions, and markers, which I find a very helpful time saver, so I'm not spending extra time colorizing things manually. So normally if you create a new track, whether it be an audio track or a software instrument track, there is a default color for these. It's blue for audio tracks and audio regions and it's green for instrument tracks and MIDI regions. Now the first thing you want to do here is you want to turn on your track color bars. To do this, right click or control click on a track header, and then go down to track header components, and then select track color bars. And you'll see that the audio track is blue, and the software instrument track is green. And if I create any new ones, these will all default to a blue or green color. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is delete all of these. Let's start from scratch. And before I create any new tracks, I'm going to go up to Logic Pro Preferences Display. From here, I'm going to go to the Tracks tab, and there's three options you want to change here. You have Track Color Static. I like to change this to the Auto Assign 24 colors. With 96 colors, the colors are a bit too close together, so I like 24 colors so I can distinguish between them a bit better. You can also make the region color the same as the track color or individual. By default, this is usually set to individual. So I'll set this to as track color. And then for markers, you can also auto assign these to 24 or 96 colors. Now, because this is a logic preference, not a project setting, you won't have to set these options every time. All future logic projects you create will default to these preferences. So I'll just close this out. And now what I'll do is I'll create, I'll go ahead and create 24 audio tracks. And what you'll see is all 24 of these tracks have been auto assigned a color. And this is not just the track color bars. This also applies to any regions that are placed on these tracks. So if I drag in a bunch of loops here, you can see that the regions are auto colorized as well. And this also applies to regions that are copied and pasted or duplicated. For example, if I drag this purple region down to this yellow green track here, you'll see that it automatically changes its color to conform to the track color. Now you can still change the color of the track in all regions in the track manually. If you just select that track and then press Option C to pull up your color palette, you can still change the color of that track in all of the regions in the track manually. Now let's move on to markers. So I'm gonna press G to bring up my global tracks or you can click here to do the same thing. You can click here to create a new marker but you can also press option apostrophe to create a new marker. So if I just tab over, do a couple of these, there we go. You'll see that all of my new markers are also auto colorized. Now the very first one's still gonna be gray, but the rest of them will be auto colorized as long as I turn on that marker auto colorize preference. So that's how you can auto colorize tracks, regions, and markers in Logic Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Thanks for the support and thanks for watching.